Men's Shed movement has been around for you know, many, many years. It started in Australia. The Dalmuir Men's Shed started out as a talking group, but we've been in here nearly three years now, um, three, three and a half years now, and um, it's gone from strength to strength. I was a computer engineer in IT and cryptography all, all my working life, so I'd never really touched any tools apart from just you know, a bit of DIY in the house um, since I left school. So it was nice to be able to pick up tools again and actually create something. In here, if you walk in the door and you want to do something and you don't know how to do it, you, just, you can ask anybody, anybody in the building. If they know how to do it, they'll tell you. You meet an awful lot of people in here <coughs> that has different trades and they learn you as well as your own trade and you can pass your experience on and which they do in return. Nothing gets done in here without collaboration, absolutely nothing. Um, for example, that shed that we've been building here, that's been the work of one, two, three, four, that's been at least six people have been involved in that, at least six. Um, those chairs, you know, at least two people have been involved in that. I've done all the paperwork towards it and this gentleman who we've called Alan, he's upholstery trade. trade. He, he's done the upholstery part there and I think he's done it really well. Before I used to just sit in the house, go to shops, sit in the house, go to shops. This has given me something to go out the door for. It's amazing, it's really good. You know, you can have a bit of banter, a bit of slagging, usual. Men need to be able to come in here to talk about their personal issues without fear of judgment or embarrassment and that's a really really important thing and to be honest it's more important than the workshop is as i was doing i was vegetating in this speaking less and less and less and just you know before no i come out and right but then everybody screen, as you can hear okay i'll shut up that, me. <laughs> most of the people have been through the same scenarios and uh, they have the same opinion yeah. and their views is more like your own views so yeah, we've got it extremely well. This is a place to come that isn't the pub and it isn't the bookies. Two of the biggest social ills in Clyde Bank is drink problems and financial problems, a lot of it caused by gambling. There is no one offering the facilities um, and the services that we offer here for uh, men and vulnerable men or people who are simply just lonely.